What's up, everybody? It's Nerp here, and today we're in another ranked match video. So we're playing Iron Order again, and I mean, good creatures on our starting hand, but we don't have a one or two drop, so we'll draw a new starting hand, and we don't get a better hand, so that sucks. And I'll sack the early focus. It sucks get the sack focus, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Samantha, hello, Samantha. I don't think I've ever seen you before. I was in the queue for quite a while, so probably very low ranked energy okay maybe structure energy i don't know probably structure energy but that's seems like that's all everybody plays nowadays okay so i have been um winning a little bit more often lately and now we got the two drop below uh i will sacrifice the f focus i want to keep that creature in case we don't draw another creature this turn or I'll probably just use the Eternal Sword instead of the Wing Soldier because the Wing Soldier is just like gonna die. I want to save this thing from getting burned. Forge. Okay, so we have no okay, plays in the middle. Okay. Um, as much as I want to get the Eternal Sword so I can stop this from being burned, I attack both focuses. Kind of regret that now. Well, now nah, I, I, I like my hand as it is right now. Maybe swap the Eternal Sword for Focus, but nah, Eternal Sword's too good. And he does have the burn, or she. Um, kind of sucks. Well. And hopefully, doesn't have anything. Maybe he'll just pump the forge because the forge look like it's looks like it's gonna die next turn. Let's see, has like a potion of resistance. Sack for scrolls. You can't burn anything on my board this turn. Samantha. Charge coil. Okay, so this is structure energy. And I will. Sack the crossman for cars. So if I get another one or two drop, and I do, so that's good. So I can take this down. I keep you next to that, and he did. Yeah, he can't thunder surge, or she. I keep Samantha's probably she, but um, you could blind rage. But I'm gonna say that he's probably she's probably not gonna play a blind rage. I'm going to just put you here. Put you in front because I have like a healthy structure in front. Okay, make sure I have to make sure things are next to this eternal sword thing at all times so we can't get rid of it. Okay. Hmm. Sorry, it just froze up for you for a second. Does that when I move my uh, my window? It does that. Okay. So, even a like a busting pace on this would not be able to do it. I'll go for the pother on this because the two third chance of this moving up than a one half chance of that. Let's go like that, and we do get the pother to work out. And we'll sacrifice some moves. We have a wing shield we could play. I do want to just go for the roasted bean potion while I can before he's dead, so I can get seven attack off, which is really big. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it. Okay. Let's move you here. I'm probably not going to destroy the mortar. I'll probably just do idle damage. Because mortar is very RNG and. I probably will. I'm not going to bother putting a shield up front because he's not going to have much to hurt me with combat damage wise. So it'd be nice to get a Wings Warder soon. Wings Warders, as we know, are really strong against uh, energy. So I am playing ranked again, once a lot, again, lots of this week. Um, trying to get back to uh, top of the ranks. I was in the top five just like 20 minutes ago, but I lost a match. So I lost like 20 rating. Now I'm, now I'm down again to like 1850. Not as low as I was like yesterday, <laughs> like 1750 though. So working our way back up. And uh, hopefully this week I can be a weekly winner once again this coming week. Either by winning the most ranked matches or being one, two, three in the ladder. Okay, so he does get the Echometon. Interesting, she plays an Echometon considering the nerf it got nerfed kind of hard. It's much harder to get the extra energy now. You have to play two spells. Okay. Let's see. So I can clear his board. Right? Yeah, I can. I think I'm gonna do that. Yeah, 
get this thing out of the way. Get this thing out of the way. I mean, I said I wasn't probably not gonna kill the mortar, but I don't want to get. I don't get. I don't want to get lucky shots on me. So I'll just go ahead. Go for the roasted bean potion. Destroy you. Three plus seven, so it's gonna be a. I could go like that for just two extra idle damage. Or play the wing shield, which isn't. I'll play the infantryman. I think the infantryman is pretty. It's better than the wing shield against structure energy because the wing shield you're not really protecting much. Most of the times so you're gonna die is through direct damage, not combat damage. But Samantha could be running like a different kind of variant because I did see that uh, Ekumaton, which most high-ranked uh, structure decks do not currently use. So, maybe we'll sack the wing shield next turn. It's good to get all as much damage as we can in early game. He's putting the charge go right there, interesting. I guess because there's a wing shield up there attacking, and both of those. Hmm. I got a blessing of haste, I'd probably uh, use it on the Ducal Skirmisher because right now those are not. Those don't have a ton of health without the um, Divinator. Sack the wings, Captain. And we are not able to do that much this turn, so we'll have to take that those two hit those two pings from the charge coil. Um, I'll just move up. I'm gonna take the thunder surge if he has it. If he has it, then go right ahead, dude. Not much I'm gonna do to stop you. And I'll just group up over here a little bit. He is. I'll take the risk of. Having one extra thing die to a Thunder Surge for a possible five damage coming off. And he's not that far. He does have a Thunder Surge, but hopefully those two hits are not both on the Vanguard. Okay, good. We survived. Pretty good. Pretty good pings right there. So now we're going to have some fun. Uh, what do I want to stack here? Hmm. Let's go ahead and sacrifice the Duple Image Treatment. What I could actually do this turn is just move these two down, destroy that idol, this guy up, destroy that idol, and then roasted bean potion, eternal sword is five, so that's going to be, yeah, I'll do that. This guy might be a little bit confused while I'm doing it, but yeah, let's just, get, let's just do it. Um, so I might, oh, he's just Skinner Center, so I did win. Yeah, if you didn't notice, I could have just put the roasted bean potion on, um, you and then put the eternal sword on you so that's five damage right because of the two extra damage from the eternal sword so then that idol had seven and so it would be left on two and i had a decimation in hand so i could just destroy that next turn with the decimation and two idols will be down over here because i would use the three and the four and the eight to d destroy the uh, two seven health idols um oh no i pressed a gg but she didn't either okay um yeah she's relatively low rated so i only gained six but that also means that by gaining tricks, it, it prevented me from losing like 30. So that's always good. So I thank you all for watching. Um, and hopefully next time you see a video, I'll be a little bit higher on the ranked ladder. I'm not right now. So subscribe if you want more content. Like the video if you enjoyed. And uh, comment below who you think is going to win the entire deck wars, me or Blinky. So that'll be it for today. And keep on scrolling, everybody.